afternoon. What do you think of how staff did all the small things yesterday, like setting screens and just like how engaged they were? Uh, well, it's, impact's always gone beyond scoring. I mean, you that uh, that play here, we got the steal through the great pass to Andre, kind of you know set us in motion as far as going on a run. And um, yeah, I mean, he did everything else and, and had a very efficient night from the field. And how much do you think it shifted the momentum of this series for y'all to win game one? That was a big win. I'm not gonna downplay it, but we're not satisfied. I mean. Have a golden opportunity tomorrow to take a good lead, and uh, you gotta have a short memory in the playoffs because it, uh, the next game will come at you fast, and it might feel good to win one, but it's it's a seven-game series for uh, for a reason. And with that second group, they make a premium on moving the ball, passing the ball, making sure that the ball keeps moving. What does that do to defenses after they've had 12 minutes of having to guard the other guys? And then yeah. Well, it's tiring for them, and it wears them down for offense. Uh, you know, when guys got to dribble so much and defend, it's not easy. So we try to do that to them. And uh, we're at our best, and the ball's zipping around the perimeter. Everyone's getting a touch, and it's just easier to conserve energy that way uh, instead of trying to do it all by ourselves. We couldn't even be efficient doing that, so we got to play off each other. It looked like you were incredibly animated out there. It looked like you were having a lot of fun. Um, how much did you just enjoy the experience? Oh, I love it. It's the Western Finals. Some guys never even get to experience this, so it's the best part of the year. It's only second to the finals, and uh, I, I was enjoying myself last night, and I will tomorrow night. Play that you're going to see a lot of open looks in this series based on what they have to do with everybody else? I don't think so. I think they're going to make an adjustment. I'll get open looks if I work for them. I just don't think if I stand out there, I'll get them. But i got to really work for them as far as moving off the ball and using my teammates to run the, run the lanes with a fast break. If I do that, I'll get some good looks. For you personally, what is more satisfying? Backdoor cut for a layup or a splash? I like the backdoor cut because once you do that, the defense is on their heels because they got to play you at the rim. And um, as a shooter, it just helps. Every time you see the ball go through the rim, whether it's a free throw or a layup, uh, it gives you confidence. What adjustments do you think came down to having a sort of mental toughness for all 48 minutes of the quarter? That's, you need that. You need mental toughness in every NBA game, especially the playoffs when the pressure's on. Uh, you have to have, you have to play with no fear, and you can never second guess yourself. What adjustments are you expecting to be from the Rockets? I'm not sure. I think they'll play at a faster pace. I think they want to try and get some easier buckets in transition, and uh, that's probably the biggest adjustment I think I'll, we'll see. Does winning the first game in any sense take, take some of the pressure off you guys tomorrow? No, we don't want to think like that because that's a trap. There's still a lot of pressure on us. Um, I mean, they're only two games away from being, having home court again, so it's not like they're they're far from out of it. So uh, we believe the pressure's still on. Uh, yeah.